Hello, everyone. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Today's game features two running backs who get it done in different ways, but both are great at what they do. It's LaShawn McCoy going up against Alfred Morris. Now we'll go down to Jim Nance and Phil Sims for this week three match. It's the NFL on EA Sports. Two NFC East teams about to go at it as we join you from Lincoln Financial Field. Hello, friends. Jim Nance along with Bill Sims. It always gets ratcheted up, the intensity, that is, when you got a divisional matchup at your hands like we do today. You know, Jim, when you talk about divisional matchups, the coaches all week long keep telling the football team this is like two games in one. Why? Because you're playing a division team. It's a rival. You've built your team to win the division. This is going to be great to watch. The Redskins are back deep, waiting for the kick return. And Rob Baronis has this one teed up as we gear up for kickoff. which he threw three interceptions. First down here. is taking the handoff. And that's a gain of nine. When a coach can have a run and picks up those kind of yards, it gives them confidence, and they will show more and more patience with the running game. So the defense, they better dig in here. Second down. RG3 has it under center. And Morris is going to take the handoff now. Has 12 on this play. So many times you watch football games and coaches just give up too early on the run game. Well, they'll keep it going today after that run. Decent pickup by the running back. First down here after the run. running down keeps it here very nearly intercepted now for the offensive starters at wide receiver he started his career with Peyton Manning throwing him the football in Indianapolis here is Pierre Garçon he is a solid NFL receiver he can play the slot he can get open on the short passes, and he's very strong competing for the football when it's thrown down the field. Failing to complete that one, so second down here. Riffin the third will have it in the pistol. They need to get the playoff. He'll throw it over the middle, makes the reception. Now. They take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. Early in this game, Phil, and already on the other side of the midfield strike. Nice job by the offense here. Good play calling, too, Jim. Mixing up the plays. The defense is off guard right now, and the offense is taking advantage of it. Third 
third down here. Offense trying to pick up the first. RG3 has it under center. Morris has it out of the eye. Swallowed up behind the line of scrimmage. Jim, if it was up to me in a situation like this on fourth and short, I would not go for it. I would punt the football away, play field position, and not give momentum to the other team if you don't make it. But I'm not sure. We'll see what the coach does. again today. He didn't have a big game last week, so we'll see if that changes here today. They come to the line of scrimmage. First down. Smith in the slot. Nick Bowles from the shotgun. And it's Ryan Clark who was able to tackle him. Things haven't changed from when I played till now. With its zone coverage, quarterbacks, offensive coordinator, and receivers, they expect a completed pass, and that's what they got in this last play. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. It's Foles out of the pistol. McCoy trying to power his way right up the middle. Taking a look at this offensive unit, Riley Cooper has become a favorite target for the wide receiver position. I think he showed everybody you can rely on Riley Cooper to do his job, and he can do it well. He had a really good year in 2013. Coming up, second down. McCoy's got it now on the draw. This run goes nowhere. Stuff for a loss of four. For the defensive starters, a very capable pass rusher out of Purdue is Ryan Kerrigan. Yeah, athletic, tough. He can overpower you on the pass rush, and he also is quick enough and nimble enough to go around you if you're not paying attention. down following the run midway through the first no one in sight has the grab I'm sure the head coach at time was sitting over on the sidelines thinking about his punt team in a third long situation he didn't expect this offense to pick it up but they did it. What a job. Give them a lot of credit. Good job. First down here after the completion. Foles takes a look now from under center. McCoy is going to secure the handoff. They'll mark him at the 41. you got to keep your offensive lineman aggressive, so you have to run the football every once in a while. That run, even though it was a short game, it served a purpose. To the two-yard carry, it sets up second down and eight. Again, the lean on him. Act is made, and the first down is picked up. McCoy is a very smart runner. He knows situations in the game. He saw the first down yard markers, and what does he do? He gets past them and picks up the first down. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Cooper's lined up in the slot. 
Sproles has got it on the handoff. And Sproles is brought down. That was a power running play that time by the offense. It picked up some good yards. Nothing like it. Show the defense you're willing to get in there and slug it out and get some tough running yards. Second down here. Foles is set in the pistol. Out to Cooper. And that's a gain of 13. Good job by the receiver that time. Getting that extra couple yards. Gets a first down. They are marching. Let's see how the defense reacts. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. The Eagles in the pistol. Here's the give to LaShawn McCoy. McCoy taken down. And this defense, they are tough. When you run that football, they got some men up front. And that time they stopped that run just for a short game. Second down coming up. The defense comes out in the nickel. They send the tight end in motion. Nowhere to go as this will be a loss of three. Well, Jeff, they didn't pull the defense at all. Second down, you run the football, hoping to make it third and short. Then you lose yards, third longs. They're hard to get in the NFL. Third down now. This has been a long drive so far. Here's Ertz. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. 48 yard field goal try on the way. is good it's good there's nothing like being ahead the football game no matter how many points it is because now you can manage it in a different way even though it's early in this game and you make the other team come after you the Redskins ready to return the kick If this defensive lineup is going to have the better of it today, it must get a big performance from Connor Barwin. And Connor Barwin, I look at him and the kind of player, you know, he's got talent. There's no doubt about that, but he's just a hard working football player. And you need those guys on the defensive side. Second down coming up. The play clock's running down. The Redskins will take a second here to talk things over as they call a timeout on second down. We're back and the offense is ready to roll after the timeout. And here we have second down. This should be the last play of the quarter. Ooh. 
set up screen. Breaks the tackle. He's brought down at the 23-yard line. And that will close out the first quarter in Philadelphia. We'll return in just a moment. The NFL on EA Sports is brought to you by Head & Shoulders, the official shampoo of the NFL. The Redskins on offense here to start the second quarter. third down loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime and the second quarter is underway with this snap Williams there that time for the tackle well you always hear that expression it's a chess match out there well, I believe that because you got to be a thinker on the football field. And the quarterback won this chess match. He changed the pass protection. He got the extra time, and it worked to his advantage. The Redskins have to be hoping this doesn't turn out like last week's game. Tough luck losers a week ago and trailing in another tight one right now, Phil. And we're going to find out if they learned anything from last week's tight loss. And, Jim, when you get in situations like this, it's about making that one play that gives your team a good chance to win. Griffin's going to throw once again on this down. Ball's thrown incomplete. Great coverage there by the defense. That incompletion by the quarterback, hey, I give the quarterback no fault. That was just tremendous coverage by the secondary player. He's in position and able to uh, make the football be incomplete. Alfred Morris lined up in the backfield. Tight ends in motion here. Second and ten. Handoff by Griffin. Holes all over the ball carrier. Well, we still got a close game here, and you got to try to keep it that way. It's third ball, and you're losing the football game. Don't take a chance on the offensive side. Wait for your next opportunity. Third down on the way. Offense lines up here. Setting up screen. On the money. Has space. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long. They can do just about anything, and it's going to work. And they stop the offense that time. The Redskins call for the punt. Flag is out. Push it foul. Clipper. Receiving to Always one of the more dangerous moments out on the field when you see a flag thrown for clipping. Yeah, it is, Jim. The player you are blocking or clipping can't protect himself. And when you go down low on those legs and do that, uh, it's a dangerous play. It's definitely worthy of the call. First and ten. Handoff made. McCoy is marked down after a gain of four. Power running. A lot of teams in this league don't even do it anymore. This team, they can power it up in there and pick up those tough yards. Second down coming up. The Eagles come out in a two tight end set. McCoy's handed the football. Bowens is an animal on that play. Manage the football game. That's what you have to do as a quarterback. You're winning a close game and it's third long. Well, manage it. Know what to do. Don't force the play here. If it's not there, throw it away and just punt the football.
This is third down. They've come out in the dime package. Foles is back in shotgun formation. Wide open for the catch. I'm sure the head coach was over on the sideline that time thinking about sending his punt team out there. Didn't even realize his team. What a job by them on the offensive side. Picking up that first down on third and long. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. The Eagles come out in the pistol. Left side. He'll pick up seven this time. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. They'll try over again on second down. Just a quick drop back. The Eagles get a first down. The slant route made famous by the West Coast offense, something that really I thought came in the league when Bill Walsh started with the 49ers in 1979. First down here after the completion. The offense lined up in the full house. They give it to him on the counter. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. This will be second down. Offense lines up here. LaShawn McCoy takes the handoff. They'll meet him this time behind the line. Jim, in a situation like this, you just got to be smart. It's third long. You're winning the football game. Don't take any chances. Don't turn it over. If you punt it, that might be a good thing. That last play was a run. Third down coming up. Offense lines up here. Play action, Foles. No separation at all. Incomplete. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. Jackson's going to take this one from the eight. Gets about nine on the play. The Redskins are set for their next possession. Griffin's going to be in the pistol here. First down at the 16. Hand off. Morris looking for a lane. He's brought down at the 20-yard line. What that run does, it just puts the offense in a good situation. So a good, positive run. RG3 out of the pistol. Second down and six. Here's the handoff. He's taken down at the 23. <laughs> and 
now looking at third down. And we've reached the two-minute warning in this one. Coming up in two minutes, it's the EA Sports Halftime Show, sponsored by Verizon. All right, following the two-minute warning, we've got a defense trying to maintain the lead as we head towards halftime. Third down and four. And no one is going to catch this one as it goes out of bounds. They're in punting formation. Darren Sproles will return it. Charging ahead. Still on his feet. There's nothing like a good punt returner. Just give him a little hope. Just make somewhat of a decent block. He'll do the rest. That's what we saw that time. They're happy to begin this drive from this point. First down and 10. They're going to get him here for a sack. Got to give the defense a lot of credit here. You want to stop the offense from scoring here with under two minutes to go in the first half. Good pressure on the quarterback, and they take him down behind the line of scrimmage. Well, they got to the quarterback on first down. Sets up second and long. We go, we go, we go. We go. Here's Ertz. That's a gain of eight. Good job by the quarterback completing that pass against the zone defense. Look for the open space when you throw against zones. That's what he did, and he got the nice completion. It's third down coming up. Wide receivers are bunched up. Throws the pass. Easy catch there. No one near him. The Eagles are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. getting set now following the timeout they're back at the line after that catch for a first down he'll keep it on the play fake Looking to the right side and throwing. Catches the ball on the sideline, but does not get both feet down. There's a difference. When you play zone, you drop back and you watch the quarterback and you react to the football. When you're playing man-to-man, -man, all you're worried about is where that receiver goes. You try to shadow him, look for the football, and try to make a play. Tight end in motion. Second and goal from the four. Out to the left. Has it. Touchdown. Well, when you get close to the goal line, you always have to look out for the tight end because anytime there's a, just a little bit of deception, that deception is enough for the tight end to get that area where he can get open. That time he does it. Touchdown. with an extra point try on the way. 
Extra point is good. The Eagles getting prepared now to kick it off. That punt return, that explosive return, helped lead the team to the end zone. Didn't have too far to go after that return set them up in excellent field position. Rob Verones lining up for the kickoff. Jackson's going to run this one out. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. First down, offense ready for the snap. It's a dime look for the defense on this play. First down at the 22. Long ball to Deshaun Jackson. A near interception that time by Fletcher. Just not a good decision by the quarterback. I mean, maybe on the sidelines they keep calling the wrong plays, but he's attacking the strength of this cover two defense. Don't do that. Roll with or not, that's deep down the middle. down and 10 and Morris is taking the handoff he's brought down at the 30 yard line the Redskins use another timeout here and they have one left see what they do on this third down situation is going to take the handoff now. He's tackled beyond the markers. It's a first down. The Redskins take it from the 33. Gets a hand in that time to force the incompletion. Good job by the linebacker that time. Solid receiver coming in in his area. Ready to quarterback and in wonderful position to knock the pass down. Garcon's lined up now as a slot receiver. Out of the shotgun formation. And he's forced to the ground. The Eagles, one timeout remaining. And they overcome the sack. Third down on the way. is going to secure the handoff. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. That's a timeout by the defense. That timeout might be very useful for the offense. They're now ready to go. Needing five to move the chains. One more snap in halftime. The Redskins take it from the 38. RG3 going down the field. Failed to pick up the first down, and they'll give the ball back to the other side. And that will close out the first half here. The City of Brotherly Love will be back after halftime to Philadelphia for the beginning of the second half. All right, welcome to the Verizon Halftime Report. I'm Larry Ridley. Let's take a look back now at the first half. The Eagles want to continue to give their fans something to cheer about in the second half. The Redskins haven't played horribly, but will need to improve if they want to win this one. All right, let's get it going. Here's the first half highlights. Eagles have it midway through the first. Matthews got the catch here, and the play will come to an end after a gain of 15. Now, early in the second quarter, here the pass is completed into coverage, and he'll be tackled at their own 34-yard line. About halfway through the second, here we get a quick pass and completion, and he won't be brought down until he makes it to their own 22-yard line.
late in the second. The pass will be completed into coverage. This play goes for a score. Eagles push the lead to 10. So that'll do it for us. We'll go back now to Philadelphia for the second half. Back now at Lincoln Financial Field. Jim Nance, Bill Sims, Danielle Bellini for the beginning of the third quarter. Fields the football at the three. And he's met head on right there at the 20. It's first down as they head to the line. Foles is lining up in the pistol. And here we go, the first snap of the second half. He's brought down at the 20-yard line. The Eagles lead right now, but you will see that not everything is going their way. McCoy's had a tough one, especially. Down the stretch, if they want to control the game, you have to think they're going to go back to him for some more touches and try to get it right. That's right. Keep giving him the football. Keep mixing the plays up. Don't get obvious in your play calls. If you do, the defense will have everything on their side. Foles will take it from the gun. The defense gets a sack. There is nothing worse for a quarterback than have the pocket collapse. And that time they collapse on his left side. There's nothing he can do. And he goes down for the sack. So they get to the quarterback on that last play. Third down coming up. Quarters formation here for the defense. Bowles takes it from the gun. Here's Hurts. Breaks away. They bring him down, and the offense fails to pick up a first down on three plays. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long. They can do just about anything, and it's going to work. And they stopped the offense that time. Jackson's got it now. In on the stop. First down here. They send the tight end in motion. First and ten. And Morris has got it on the handoff. Breaks the tackle. Good yardage picked up on that call. When you pick up first downs against the defense, they will get tired. That time, nice job by the offense getting the first down, even though they're losing here in the game. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. Griffin's got two tight ends on the field for this snap. Tight ends in motion here. Trying to beat the play clock. And Morris is handed the football. And he's going to be tackled right around the 43. When you're an offensive lineman and you can line up and just run the football straight ahead and pick up those kind of yards, you are going to get into the head of the defense. You're basically saying... We're tougher than you are, and we're just going to come right at you. Second and four following the run. The defense comes out of the dime. Griffin in the shotgun formation. He has the grab, and Morris is stopped there. If they're going to take away all the receivers down the field, Throw it short to your running back, and look what they can do in the open field. Nice run by the running back. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Griffin's setting up now in the pistol. Oh, 
Helus taking the handoff. Brock for a loss on that tackle. Got to give the defense some credit on first down. There's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. It's now second down. Garcon's going to get set in the slot for this snap. Offense lines up here. Three-step drop. Finds Reed. And making the stop, it's Malcolm Jenkins. Good job that time by the quarterback. Throw the short pass, even though it doesn't result in a first down. Now on third and short, all of your passes are in play. Instead of just the third long where you only have like three or four plays you can go to. They better hurry to get the snap. Trying to work that left side. He's brought to a halt. The quarterbacks and receivers in this NFL now are so good. It's so easy for them to throw and catch and just keep picking up those first downs. First down here after the completion. Nickel formation for the defense here. Catch made. Games 16. Good job by the offense. They're in the red zone. They're down by more than seven, but the defense, can you stop them and just give up the field goal try? They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. And Morris is going to take the handoff now. We don't always get to see defensive matchups these days, but today has been exactly that. Low-scoring game, and it's because both defenses have really stepped up and done their job. Yeah, a lot of people look at games like this and go, oh, that's boring. I think it's fun to see because we don't get to see it too often. And what it does, it puts a lot of pressure on the players and especially the coaches to make decisions that are going to give their team a chance to win in a game like this. Second and goal from the four. Looking a touchdown, and this game is tight. Touchdown, touchdown Red Redskins. Red that was a sweet touchdown right there. Just a nice throw by the quarterback. He put it right on the money. The receiver makes the catch. Beautiful touchdown. The Redskins line up now for the point after. And the point after is good. The Eagles are about to have the football kick their way. Their lead has been trimmed. The scores 10 to 7. The Eagles are prepared to return the kickoff. Boykin with the return. And he's on the sidelines out of bounds. They come to the line and it's first down. Foles takes a look now from under center. It down the field. Oh, and almost picked off that time. The defense did everything right that situation. They were in the right spot. They were smart. They read the quarterback's eyes, but they dropped the pass. Second down now. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Nothing there. This goes for a loss of two. Great situation to be in for the defense right here. It's third long, and even though their team is losing the game, you could get after the quarterback and hope you can find a way to force a turnover.
It's third down with about a minute and a half to go in quarter number three. LaShawn McCoy is in the backfield. Third down and 12. Incomplete, and this is going to be a three and out. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third and long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. getting set for their next possession. On this passing down, the defense comes out in the nickel. First down at the 16. Gets it out for the completion. He's taken down at the 30. Big first down by the offense that time here in the second half. They're losing a close game, and you get that first down. It just gives you confidence. It opens up the playbook, and it just gives you a better chance of going down the field and getting the score. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. RG3 has it under center. Morris is going to secure the handoff, and D'Amico Ryans makes the tackle. That leads us to second down. That last running play was good for only a yard, so it's second down and nine. Morris is lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. Here is the first snap of the final quarter. He is tackled at the 40-yard line. Looking ahead, the Eagles will be on the road in San Francisco next week, while the Redskins will be playing at home next week. First down here after the completion. G3 has it under center. Clay Fox running down. They're going back up top. Has his man. Tackle made by Barwin that time. The Eagles all season long have won the turnover battle, and today it's more of the same. When you look at turnovers, it really, to me, comes down to one thing. That means you have a lot of speed on the defensive side. You can hit them before they are ready, and that's what they're doing here today. RG3 from the gun. He'll throw it over the middle. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. Well, I think we all know the situation here. It's a close game in the second half, and you're losing, but you pick up a first down. Oh, my gosh. That opens up many more possibilities what you can do on the offensive side. Good job by the offense. Loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime. Griffin from the gun. Nothing there as that was double covered. Nice job that time by the defense. Pressure on the quarterback. He does not have time to find an open guy, and it results in an incompletion. Play number six coming up on this drive. Nickel formation here for the defense. Griffin's got it in the gun. Throws to the right. Pierre Garcon has the catch. That last 
pass completion sets up a third and nine. They need to get the playoff. Griffin's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Incomplete as he was looking short. Well, quarterbacks go on third down. they got to make a decision to get rid of that football because the defense, they are coming after you. That time, just not good enough, and he throws an incompletion. Starting field position here. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Looks to his left. That's dropped by Burks, who couldn't bring it in. It's really simple. Keep your eyes on the football. When you're not on it, that's when you drop it, and that's what happened that time. up in the backfield will go ground and a gain of four it'll be third down wide receivers stacked up on this play Nick Foles from the shotgun on third down and they force the quick three and out we got to give that defensive front a lot of credit man they are pushing they're getting after it they know it's probably going to be a pass on third down and they get back to the quarterback and take him down They're set to punt it away now. First down on the way. First and ten. And he's taken down. That's what you call pressure. When everything around the quarterback, they're all at his feet. The offensive linemen are around him. He sees the arms of the defensive linemen all reaching for him. There's nothing he can do but fall to the ground. The Redskins from the 37. Screen reaches out and grabs it. Redskins look pretty confident out there on the field, don't they? And they're, they're very calm, and they should be. That first down, they're right in this game. Down a couple points here in the second half. Don't look down the field for that big play. Just keep marching. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. First down, following the long play. Griffin's going to take it from the gun. Throws the pass. And 
incomplete pass that time as he threw it short. Second down following that incompletion. Garcons, a receiver in the slot. And Morris is lined up in a single back formation. The Redskins take it from the 28. Underneath, but can't find a mark that time as the pass goes incomplete. You are not going to be an accurate quarterback, of course, when you're under this kind of this kind of pressure. He doesn't even have time to set his feet on the line. Offense lines up here. down and 10. Pass his target. Number 10. The Redskins just picked up a big first down that time, Jim. When you're down by a few points in the second half, every first down is crucial. Nice job that time by the offense. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. This play set up by the long gainer. That long gain sets them up here on this play. And Morris has got it on the handoff. Fletcher's the one who brings them to the ground. Anytime your team is down, you're inside the other team's red zone, you look for one of your star players, your quarterback, wide receiver, or running back, they need to make a big play here. Coming up, second down. Ready to make the stop on the goal line, loading up that defensive front. And a goal from the four. It's a touchdown. Touchdown, Redskins. Tight ends are more valuable when you get close to the goal line because they can use their body and push off and get open that way to score touchdowns. Nice job that time by the tight end. The Redskins getting set for the extra point. Driving extra point is good. The Eagles' return team is in position. Perhaps they can run one out pretty deep and shift the momentum. The scores 14 to 10. Catches it at the two and starts his return. The flag is out as the play continues. Well, contact around the knees and they flagged them for the clipping call. Uh, it, it, they did. It was a good call. Uh, listen, you got to hold your breath when you see plays like that. You just hope somebody doesn't get hurt. Foles takes a look now from under center. First and ten. Out to Cooper. Picks up about two. The Redskins have the lead right now. And you see the numbers. You can't help but notice that the pass rush has finally awakened. Yeah, this pass rush is just overpowering the offensive line. You, that's always good for a defense. They love seeing that. But their energy level is way up there. That's really helping them out a lot, too. Bowles will take it from the gun. That was Hall on the coverage that time. Man, the quarterback, the coaches, his teammates, everybody loves to see a player give that type of effort. How about the receiver 
just going all out to make the catch. Doesn't quite get there, but the effort is outstanding. This is a time where the quarterback has to manage the clock. Has to be very careful. Trailing, needing points to get back into this one. If you're going to blitz, you got to get to the quarterback and at least hit him. Good job by the offensive line. The QB has time and throws the football down the field for completion. The Eagles will punt it. Jackson's going to try and return this punt for a gain of about five. <laughs> The Redskins ready now to start their next series. They'll take it here from the 39. The defense needs a big stop here in order to give the offense a chance as we're running low on time in this one. First down and 10. And Morris is handed the football. Gets about four yards that time. The running game has been going in opposite directions for these teams today, Phil, but it's still a tight game. Yeah, Jim, simple on the offensive side. Do whatever you have to do to make it work. If you're running it well, stay with it. On the other side, you got to find ways to deceive the defense. Change up. If you do that, your chances of success, they go way up. Second down here. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Second and six. They'll go ground. And that gains a few. That'll stop the clock with that timeout. Defense got a bit of a blow and now readies for the next play. To that last carry. It's third and three. Riffin the third will have it in the pistol. Third and three. Brings it into his body. That'll stop the play right there. They call for the timeout to stop the clock. down here after the completion coming to the line hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time gets the handle here they'll mark him at the 34 and they'll try to conserve time here with this timeout It'll be second down and six after the running play on first down. Tight end in motion. Right back to him. Taking it up the middle. Brought down by Trent Cole. Of course, he's never able to build up that power that he has as a running back when there's nowhere to go. Hey, there's nowhere to go. That's a short game. To that last carry it's third and three coming to the line hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time they want to keep feeding him the football and he's tackled down after picking up the first that was a good call by the offensive coach that time they needed one first down to win this game to seal things up he makes the right call and they get a big first down Play number six coming up on this drive. Takes the knee.
how much sweeter is practice going to be this week after the win on that sideline? Once you win, practice is easier because your confidence is high. You feel good about what you've done from the previous week because you won. So I think it always gives you a better chance of winning the following week because you feel so good when you're out there in that practice field. memorable game this truly was for Phil Sims, Danielle Bellini and Larry Ridley, Jim Nance saying so long for now and we leave you with the GMC never say never moment of the game.